Hello and welcome to part two of the coat dress tutorial. Let's get this done. Okay, now it's time to pin our skirt and our top part of our jacket together. So what you want to do is you want to lay out your skirt piece with the right side facing up. Then you want to take your top piece, the top piece and we're going to be working with the bottom edge. So working with the bottom edge, make sure the right sides are together so the right side and the right side should be touching. First you want to find the notch on the jacket and find the notch on the skirt. Find that and place a pin. Next, you want to find the seam on the top and find the seam on your skirt. Line those up. And place a pin. Alright, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Matching up the seams together and pinning in place. Next, finding the notch in the jacket and finding the notch in the skirt piece and pinning together. And after that, you can just go ahead and pin in additional places to um, hold it together wherever you see fit and then once you're done adding your additional pins we're going to take it to our machine now and we're going to sew this whole we're going to sew the top and bottom together All right, so let's sew our top and bottom together. Go ahead and lower your needle. Start sewing back stitch. And we are using 5 eighths of an inch to sew these two pieces together. Alright, and when you get to the end, make sure you backstitch. Go ahead and clip your threads. Now, to finish off this edge, you can use your serger if you have one. If you don't, you can use a zigzag stitch to finish this off. Or if you have pinking shears, you can use that as well. All right, go ahead and grab pattern pieces uh, number five. So we had one that has no interfacing, and then we have the other one that has interfacing. So what you want to do is find the side that has the three notches. So we're working on the end that has three notches. Go ahead and put pins along that edge and we're going to sew along the edge. After you're done with this, we will then do the same thing on the piece that has the interfacing.
Okay, now that we have pressed out both of our band pieces, we're going to lay them right sides together. So with the right sides together, so right side to right side, we're going to pin that in place. And we're working on the outer part, all right? The side we're working on is a side that has no notches. So now that we pin this in place, what we're going to do is go ahead and bring it all the way now down to the end. Because what we are going to do is we're going to sew up and then all the way around. All the way around. Until we get down here. Alright, starting on the lower edge, we're going to do a 5 eighths inch, inch of a seam allowance and then we will pivot. Her foot, turn, place it back down. Now we're getting ready to sew along the edge that does not have the notches. So, back stitch. pivot we're going to make a cut so this is just so when we get ready to turn it it's nice and clean now we can take our piece and go ahead and turn it and right where, where that corner is, go ahead and push that out. And go ahead and flip the whole thing. So you can do Once you have flipped the collar out, now you want to take it to your iron and go ahead and press it out nice and neatly. And next we're going to sew this opening closed. So you can pin this together, but it's not necessary. Um, so go ahead and we're going to be lining up the fabric with the edge of our presser foot to close this opening. Okay, now it's time to sew our jacket and our front band together. So with the right side of the jacket facing up towards you, Go ahead and find the two shoulder seams and put those together. And now where this fold is, I want you to grab a pin and just go ahead and mark that. So now when we open it back up, we have our center back seam. So what you want to do is Take your band piece and the right sides are facing together. You want to align where this seam is in your band piece. You want to align it 
with the mark that you just made for your center back and go ahead and pin that in place and next you just want to pin all the way down on both sides all right now that we've pinned our band all the way down you'll recognize that we have a little bit of the skirt piece that does not have the band, uh, the band pinned to it um, we're going to start sewing here and sew all the way down and we'll get to this part in a moment all right starting at the base of the collar we're going to do a five eighths of an inch So this right here is the collar and this is the ending piece of the skirt. What you want to do is fold that down 5 eighths of an inch so it can line up. So you should have a seam running along here and you just want to press that down. Alright and then once we press that down we're then going to run a top stitch using one fourth of an inch and we're going to run the top stitch on the right side of the fabric all the way down all right now we're sewing down top stitching on the front of our skirt so I have the presser foot lined with the edge of the fabric. I'm going to lower my needle. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. This time though, I'm starting at the base of the skirt and sewing up to where the collar ends. All right, so now we're on the wrong side is facing up and we're at the bottom. This is the bottom of our skirt. Now we need to hem it so you can take your seam gauge, press it one time all the way around, get it good. Then once it's folded one time, you can take it, roll it again a second time and press. Then we're going to top stitch on the front of our bottom. This is going to be the longest stitch of your life. All right, to hem the bottom, I'm going to line up the edge with the edge of the presser foot, and I'm going to sew all the way around. So, sewing. And then back stitching and keep on going. All right, everyone, this concludes the tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future tutorials. And also check out my blog and other social media outlets for more pictures and other DIY projects. And comment below if you have any questions. Until next time, doses.